Just because it prophesies doesn't mean it's of God. Just because it preaches doesn't mean it's of God. I'm trying to help somebody. The problem is, is that we live in the world, we live in a world today of selfies. Selfies. It's a selfish spirit, okay? And it has planted itself in the church. A picture is nothing but a reflection of what was So we're just coming up in the house of God and we got a reflection and it's only it's not a reflection of God. We got a reflection of the spirit that prophesied over us cuz we accepted it. That's strong doctrine right there in it, mama. But am I okay? Am I in the word of God? All right, thank you very much. The truth is, we can't discern a devil anymore because we're too busy focusing on ourselves. We're too busy focusing on our feelings. We're too busy focusing on our career. And I want to know, since when did the house of God become a career? I'm trying to help somebody. I said, when did the house of God become a career? We got career-minded pastors and career-minded sheep. And all you are, and you got yourself a career, all right. You got a career in a familiar spirit. I'm trying to help somebody. Y'all don't think I didn't bite for this? I'm trying to tell you. God never anointed anybody for a career. Never, not once. What did he anoint us for? A call. He anointed us for a call, not a career, okay? It's a selfie spirit. And it's loose in the church. Can I tell you about a career spirit? Can I help you with that just a second? Career-minded people will walk all over you to get to the top. They don't care. I'm after the top. Walk all over you. I'm talking about get up there and be your friend and get information from you and then walk on you, step on your back to get where the, that's a career-minded person. How many career-minded people have you seen in the house of God? You better be careful who you friend yourself with. You better be careful who comes up and tells you how awesome you are because that might be a career-minded devil and they're just trying to get to the top and they're going to step over you to get there. But you don't have enough discernment to know it. Y'all all right? Mm, Jesus, have mercy. Career-minded people will accept anything that gets them where they want to go. But can I tell you, called out people, called out people are dead to themselves, completely dead to themselves. And because discernment is operational in their spirit, they will not confer with the devil at any cost. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw myself under the bus. I have been known to confer with the devil and didn't know it. Because I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I ain't going to sit up here and act like I'm also holy and always get it right. Because, see, I done let something rise up in me. And somebody keep telling me, that's where you need to go. That's where you need to go. That's where you need to go. And I was listening to it because it sounded good and it looked good. And it even sounded holy. But when I got myself alone with God and I began to realize that right there is just a sneaky Stevie. That right there is just a sneaky devil. That right there is just a Jezebel. And they couldn't care less about where I go. And the the truth of the matter is they had to change my direction yeah. 